So people of Chatswood, we're here today. Two people have given their hearts to Christ on the street here already. We've only been here a short time. But that is because of divine appointments, people. The God of this universe, the one who created heaven and earth and everything in it, appoints people to come and speak and receive him as their saviour. Many people here today have been divinely appointed to hear the gospel and to give their hearts to Christ. They sense the conviction of the Holy Spirit in their heart. They know that there is a void in there that can only be filled by the Spirit of God, by Jesus Christ as your saviour. Many people walk by like they don't care. They walk by, they won't even give me eye contact. But there are some that have been appointed, some that re need to receive Jesus Christ as their saviour. Now why would you worry about that? I'll tell you why it's so important, people. At the moment, you are disconnected from your creator. We are born that way. That is not your fault. And it does not have to stay that way. Jesus Christ came to this earth. He became sin. He became a man. He was God made manifest in the flesh. He knew no sin, but he was made to be sin so that we could become the righteousness of God. It's like a divine exchange. If you're walking around at the moment and you do not know Jesus Christ, you are in a dangerous position. It does not have to stay that way. Come and talk to me. I'll put the microphone down and I'll talk to you and you can have your soul saved. It's so important. Don't be afraid of the man on the microphone. The man on the microphone is here to help today. The man on the microphone cares about your eternal life, maybe more than you do. Many people don't even realize that they are in a, a dangerous position. They don't realize that if they pass from this earth, they will not be with their creator forever. They'll be in another place. There's only two alternatives, heaven and hell. Hell was not made for mankind. It was made for the devil and his angels. But that is the destination for people who do not know Jesus Christ. That is not meant to be a fear thing, even though it is a fearful thing. It is a fearful thing. But God, in his love, in his mercy, has made a way for every person to avoid that. Every person can be born of his spirit. In fact, he says in John 3, chapter 3, unless you are born again of his spirit, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. So every person here who is not born of the spirit of God cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven. You say, why is that important? We're walking around the earth. It's not going to happen to us. Let me tell you, look on the internet, 150,000 people a day die. They get up in the morning, they have no idea, they're not going to make it through till 5 o'clock. None of us knows when we're going to die. None of us. If you think you know exactly when you're going to die, you are fooling yourself. People do not know. And if you pass from this earth without a saviour, someone to stand up for you on the day of judgment, you will be lost. In fact, you are lost now. You're in darkness. You do not have to remain in darkness. Come to the Lord Jesus Christ. He has appointed people today. Two people already on the street here have given their hearts to Christ. On the street here today, those people are safe. This is why we are out here today because we care about your eternal soul. Maybe more so than you care about it. People are not thinking about it. This is why I'm out here today, so that people will start to think about their eternal soul. They think about everything else, but one of the most important things, in fact, the, the most important thing, the most important thing of all is is your eternal life okay so you've got to have <laughs> you've got to have your heart right before god because 150,000 people die 150,000 people die okay and they have no advocate they have no one to stand up for them you don't need to stay in that position people think it's funny or they think oh it's not me i'm not going to be one you don't know if you're going to be one of 150,000 tomorrow you've got no idea what you can be certain about 
is where you're going to spend eternity. If you receive Jesus Christ as your Savior, you will be safe in eternity. You'll be safe. Come here, buddy. Have a talk. What's your religion, man?